One of the most exciting features they've added to the DJI Air 3 is the fact that you can do waypoints in video mode. And this has normally only been seen on the Mavic series or indeed the Inspire. So I'm really looking forward to sharing with you how we set that all up. So let's get out into the sunshine. The only trouble with that transition is I can't read my screen. So I'm gonna to have to do a hat transition. I'm gonna cover putting the drone in the air flying it to its different waypoints and adjusting those, refining those, and then saving them so we can call them later. Then I'll also show you how you can set waypoints without the drone being in the air and then sending it on that mission, saving batteries. Plan your mission, set your waypoints without the drone being in the air. You need to fire up the RC and the drone, let it connect to the GPS so it knows where it is. And then you just go to the squiggly lines, the S shape or the Z shape on the left hand side and you can click plan flight. And what you'll do is you can bring up the map and you can use your finger to make a point on the screen. And at the moment it's saying height 50 meters and it's pointing north. We'll just make another marker and another marker, another marker. So we've made four markers and now we can just go into those by tapping on an individual one. So I've tapped on number one and you can set drone action at the moment, it's none, but you can change what you want that to do. 50 meter altitude uh, and that's fine. You can set the global speed here, the heading and the gimbal tilt. So I'm just gonna leave those as they are at the moment and go to number two. So now I'm going to raise that to 75 meters, okay, 76 meters. I could drag and move that waypoint around. Following course is it's just going to follow the same direction. I can change the direction of the gimbal. So I'm making it point in. Then I'm going to go to my third and I'm going to move this up to 100. So it's moving around the course, increasing with height and I'm changing the gimbal to look into the center of this movement I'm making. And then my fourth, I will make that altitude 120 and I'll change the tilt on the gimbal slightly. You can do a zoom. I can hit next. End of flight, I will just do return to home. That is it and the aircraft will automatically take off and fly off on its course, off to its first waypoint, getting its heading and now moving along on that course. And it shows us here, we're 26 seconds into the movement. It's a three minute course. 454 meters and it's done 95 of it so far. So the beauty of this is we've not used up any batteries of the drone planning this. We've been able to do it in advance, then put the drone in the air and make it run the course. Now this is a feature that I wished Mini 3 Pro had got. The fact that you can use waypoints in video mode, not just doing hyperlapses, but also that you can do it in advance. This makes it an absolute superb tool. So virtually we're film directors now. We're using this like a Maverick 3 or an Inspire where you can pre-plan routes and make the drone fly through it and it will do it much more smoothly than you could do yourself. And there you can see in the final movement where I just tilted the gimbal up. So that can make a nice transition into a blue sky into your next part of your edit. Or maybe you want the gimbal pointing down to so some feature on the ground that you're focusing on. But I've had the spiraling up, out and looking upwards. So now the drone is returning to home, gently losing height. So we're gonna save and exit that. So that will now be saved so we can recall that at another time. I'm gonna fly the drone to the specific waypoints, adjust my angle and height, do the course, save it, and then fly the route. So I've got the drone in position for my first waypoint. I'm just going to click the C1 button and that's saved the first waypoint. And then I'm gonna get the drone into my next 
hit the C1 button on the back. Select my next waypoint. Select my fourth waypoint. So now that we've done that, we can check our waypoints and any details we want to change on those and whether we want to zoom in, zoom out, change the altitude, the global speed of this. If we click on that, we can go to settings and we can just change that. And then what we want to do at the end of the flight, so let's change the global speed. We're gonna do five meters per second, end of flight, return to home. And now we're gonna press go. And as you can see, the drone is going over to its first waypoint. It's gonna turn around, line itself up. Let's just show you here. I'll just speed this up for you in post-production. There it goes, turning around and it's setting off on its mission, as you can see the second waypoint. So this is 500 meter course and it's going to take one minute 40. It's moving through it quite quickly but because we're quite a distance from our target I wanted it to move quite quickly because we've got such a wide angle on this. And as you can see it's passing through its next waypoint here coming around to waypoint four. Now in that last course we could have adjusted all the parameters of those waypoints and refine them as we had done previously. So I hope that's given you some really good ideas. You know your way around using waypoints. Go out and explore that. Try some new things, some creative things and have fun. Hope you found that useful. For more videos on drones, check out the playlist here. Show me the love, subscribe to the channel, click the button here and I will see you over there.